What's going on guys? So today we'll be defending Kevin Durant's statement by breaking down why Kyrie Irving is more skilled than Allen Iverson. The first thing we need to do is clarify that Kevin Durant did not say that Kyrie Irving is better, but simply that he is more skilled as a player. To explain the difference, let's compare centers Shaquille O'Neal and Marc Gasol. On the offensive end, Marc Gasol is the better three-point shooter, the better mid-range shooter, and the better free throw shooter. And while Shaquille O'Neal was more dominant in the low post, we observed Marc Gasol to be more skilled in the high post and in the mid post. Marc Gasol is also the better ball handler, passer, and playmaker. Whether it's passing out of the double team, passing out of the post, or passing from the top of the key to set up teammates. In other scenarios, such as the pick and roll, we also observe Marc Gasol to clearly be more skilled because of his ability to pick and pop for a mid-range jump shot and to also pick and roll to the basket for a dunk or a layup. While Shaquille O'Neal was limited to only rolling to the basket for a dunk or a layup due to his inability to hit mid-range jump shots. On the defensive end, both players have had relative success with Shaquille O'Neal making three All-NBA defensive teams and Marc Gasol being named the 2013 Defensive Player of the Year. As rim protectors, the edge goes to Shaquille O'Neal, who is also a more skilled rebounder. But as on-ball defenders, Marc Gasol has better defensive fundamentals when guarding opposing centers better ball denial, and is more skilled at help defense. Marc Gasol is also better at defending the pick and roll, something Shaquille O'Neal was notoriously known for being bad at. So based on these criteria, it's easy to see that Marc Gasol is far more skilled than Shaquille O'Neal ever was. That being said, Shaquille O'Neal is still viewed as better because of his dominance which is mostly attributed to his size and strength. Two attributes that are not on-court basketball skill sets, but that he still used to his advantage and that allowed him to impact the game in ways Marc Gasol never has, despite being the more skilled player. So now that we've differentiated between being better and being more skilled, let's examine why Kyrie Irving is more skilled than Allen Iverson. When it comes to three-point shooting, the stats clearly favor Kyrie Irving, who has also shown to be a more accurate shooter in open competition. In the first three-point contest that both players participated in, Kyrie Irving came in first place in 2013, beating the likes of Stephen Curry, while Allen Iverson couldn't get past the first round, coming in seventh place out of eight participants in 2000. The mid-range jump shot is also a skill that Kyrie Irving has shown to be more efficient at than Allen Iverson, as well as free throw shooting. When it comes to finishing at the rim, Kyrie Irving is once again more skilled. And while Allen Iverson was one of the best at getting to the rim, the eye test clearly shows that Kyrie Irving is more efficient at finishing due to the full layup package that he possesses whether it's the right hand layup, left hand layup, right underhand, left underhand, right overhand, left overhand, right hand floater, left hand floater, reverse, euro step, or the up and under. Kyrie Irving's full layup package and finishes around the rim are far more advanced and efficient than Allen Iverson's ever was. Now as passers and playmakers, the edge would go to Allen Iverson. And although Kyrie Irving has not had as much opportunities to 
playmate because of LeBron James, what we do know is that the Cavaliers do not function well when LeBron goes on the bench and Kyrie Irving is the primary ball handler, nor do they have a good record when LeBron James sits out games and Kyrie Irving becomes the number one option. As far as handles and dribbling is concerned, something both players are highly skilled at, the edge would go to Kyrie Irving who has been able to replicate every move Allen Iverson has ever done, but with greater attention to detail. From the basic crossover, to the double cross, between the legs, double between the legs, in and out, behind the back, spin move, splitting the defenders, and getting through traffic. Kyrie Irving's ball handling skills have a much higher degree of difficulty than Allen Iverson's which is why Kyrie Irving gets the nod. However, one skill set that is often overlooked is moving without the basketball. This is a skill set that Allen Iverson was known for and has a clear advantage in. In terms of defense, the edge would go to Allen Iverson. As the league leader in steals, many of Allen Iverson's takeaways were a result of gambles that Allen Iverson was known to do. But at other times, these steals were also a byproduct of Allen Iverson doing a great job of playing the passing lanes, which is why he gets the nod over Kyrie Irving on the defensive end of the floor. So by the eye test, not only is Kyrie Irving shown to be a more skilled player in five of the eight categories, but the statistics back up these facts as well. As the MVP of the league, what set Allen Iverson apart was his fearlessness, passion, speed, and athleticism. All great attributes that helped elevate his game, but none that are fundamentally basketball skill sets. The sort of basketball skill sets that are mastered through continuous practice. And while Allen Iverson has been a polarizing and transcendent figure, on and off the court, Kyrie Irving is, as Kevin Durant puts it, better skill for skill.